Hi there. Last summer, we took a trip up to uh, the Grand Tetons in Wyoming, and I had heard some other searchers mention the area as a possible uh, location for the treasure. I'm, I'm so glad that we went and saw it firsthand. The area is, is gorgeous up there, and uh, Jackson Hole, Wyoming is a really neat little town to go stop and see if you're ever in that area. The fall colors were beautiful. It was it, so pretty and scenic. I'm just so glad we went. Um, even though it was at the end of the summer, we did see a bear when we were up there. So if you do go, you might want to uh, keep that in mind. There was still also a lot of snow up in the higher elevations. Um, when we came back from our trip, I uploaded my first Forest Fin uh, video on YouTube. Uh, at first, I think my kids thought that I, they weren't sure if I was really serious or if I was just kidding. So uh, it took a little while for them to get on board and realize that I'm pretty serious about searching. Um, now the kids are coming up with their own ideas and, you know, fresh eyes never hurt the search. My youngest son was uh, over recently and he's a plumber by trade. He mentioned uh, using the thermal imaging camera for the search and I'm not very familiar with them so I went online and, and uh, did some uh, looking at some online. One of the most popular ones is the FLIR Spot Thermal TG165 that I looked at. Um, one thing that I read was since buried objects are um, composed of a different material than dirt. They cool and heat at different rates. So some treasure hunters do use the thermal imaging cameras for searching. I don't know if the Forest Fen uh, treasure searchers use them, but there are other treasure searchers out there, treasure hunters that do use them. Uh, some cameras are handheld and they're lightweight and they have an SD card that uh, you can be able to take digital pictures with. So I thought that was kind of neat there. Um, they're kind of pricey though. One of the cameras that I looked at, I think the starting price was around $300. So I'm still not sure about investing in one or if it would even be worth it for this search. But with my luck, I'd be uh, out there finding all kinds of animals in the woods that I'd rather not know were there. So I, I'm still on the fence about whether or not to get one or not. But getting back to the Grand Tetons, I think if you can visit an area um, prior to uh, making it your search area, if you have, uh, if you can go out there and, and look at it firsthand, um, it really helps. It either, you know, do a, a recon if you can. Um, it really helps either you'll eliminate it from your search or you'll fall in love with it as a possible solve to your treasure. So, you know, I'm glad we saw the Tetons. It's not part of my solve though, but I will never uh, discount it from anybody else's um, search because as long as the treasure is still out there, um, there's no wrong ideas to this uh, search. We all still have a shot at finding the treasure. So anyways, I just thought I would uh, put this little video out there and thank you very much for watching.